Papa Jane. Papa Jane. Hello everybody and welcome to Papa Jane Knows Best. Today we will be discussing in our show a topic of great interest. In today's episode, we will be featuring the Younger's family. They are a family who will be talking to us about their current problem. Um, the problem is that they are not welcome in their neighborhood. Ooh. That's right. <laughs> but you know, at the heart of this controversy, it's Mr. Leonard. So we'll bring him in and we'll see what, what's all about. Let's see who he is and we'll try to figure this out. So why don't we welcome Mr. Leonard? Well, I'm here representing the white community. We don't need a Mexican family living here. What's so wrong with them? It's going to lower our market value of our houses. Are you sure it's not because they're Mexican? How can you say that? I'm offended by that question, Mr. Papa J. Well, as we can see, our guest just walked out. So why don't we bring our next guest, who is Mr. Walker, so we can ask him some questions and inquire him of what, what he thinks and what he feels. So Mr. J, welcome, coming in. So let's welcome Mr. Walker to our studios. What's up, Holmes? Uh, hello. You can go ahead and take a seat. So tell us why you're here. Well, Vato, I'm here because I call Mr. Linder, I say. You know, call him to talk about the money. Wanted us to move out of our house. So, but just tell me one thing. Did you already put down a payment? Well, I say, that's the thing, man. It's my mom put down a down payment. So mama paid for the house. Why don't we bring in mama so she can join us? Mama, is your mama here? Yeah, Mama's in the house, man. Come on, Mama. Here. So, Mama, Hello, sir. welcome to our show. We've been talking about this heated topic, and we'd like to hear a bit from you. So, tell us why is this important to you, Mama? Well, the house, the house was my husband's dream. You know, it was just he wanted he wanted us to have a house all our lives, but he worked so hard. He Aww. died working hard. This is truly touching. So, Walter, this is your mother's money? Yeah, man, it's her money. My dad, when my heifer died, gave us the money after his death, man. So do you think your father would want this house? You know what I say? My dad always wanted the best for us. You know your dad would want the house. Mi viejo worked so hard. You know what, I'm, I know he want the house. But we have to think about the family. We can't just think about one thing, man. What do you mean, think about the family? Well, what are we going to do with the house, man? But don't you we, need a house gonna be to live? live in it, but what, what are we going to do after that? How are we going to get We're all going to live in there. Your wife is going to live in there. <gasps> man, I know my wife is going to live in there too. But how are we going to make more money, huh? Sir, this muchacho, he doesn't know what he wants. He doesn't know what good, what's good for his family. But you know what? I I think the whole problem is, uh, in this situation is about the neighborhood that he's trying to live in. What do you say about that? Does it not bother you that maybe you might not be welcome into this new house? It's just a house. That's what I've wanted all my life. It's a dream, sir. So this means a lot to you. Yes, it's my dream. It's our family's dream. Your son is going to live there, you know. Pinche viejo, que esta haciendo aquí? Damn man, what are you doing here? What, are you, what is he doing here? Sorry, ma'am. That's not no, our problem. No, no. You're it's not even not supposed our to be here. Come on, come on. Let's settle down and let's talk one person at a time. So we see you return. Why is it that you're back? I just have an offer from our neighborhood trying to sell, to tell them to sell us back the house. We'll pay double for it. Here, the only thing you have to do is sign these papers. Don't listen to your mom, man. You know what's the best for you. Don't listen to her right now. That, she's crazy. All you have to do is sign them. Think about your son. Think about him. The best for him. You have a tough decision, my friend. You could either get the money and live the life you've dreamed of. Or... You can move to another neighborhood. Hombre, not to don't. another neighborhood. Don't do that. Look at All your you son. Have to do is sign it. Here's the pen. You know what, man? Don't want your damn money. <gasps> We're just, we're just really glad that love has triumphed again over, over money, really. They're fools, man. They don't know what they're doing. But uh, you know what? Love and family is more important. And I'm just really happy that you guys have your new home. 
and I'm sure you won't have uh, much trouble adjusting to a new community. And we just uh, we just wish you well. See you next time on Papa J knows. You know, it just seems that the drama never ends with the youngest family. Next time, Benita will join us, and she will be discussing to us about her love interest named Asagai. But there is a scandalous situation going on. He wants her to move with him back to Africa. What will she decide? So, I guess we'll see you next week. And join us with Mr. J-Nose.